Huge announcement, guys! Brawl Stars Esports is here! <laughs> That's right, guys. If you have not already seen it, Brawl Stars is having their first ever competitive esports tournament. And it's actually going to be in Germany at the Red Bull MEO by Esports League. This is going to be epic. Now, today we're going to jump into the format. I'm going to explain exactly what's going on here. And then I'll also try my best to answer your frequently asked questions, as well as give you a little bit of insight on, on what to expect of this really massive thing. Hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy. Okay guys, let's go ahead and start off by uh, going over the format. So first of all that you need to know is there is a link in the description below. There's two links actually. One of them is a link to just kind of like a general description of what's going on. And the second link is actually where you can look at the official rule book if you do have further questions. But I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I possibly can right here. So first of all, qualifiers for this tournament are starting November 26th and they will last through December 9th. That is Monday guys. First qualifier is on Monday. Monday, which is absolute crazy. The first qualifier is going to be on Chief Pat's channel. Now, currently, there are 22 YouTubers or content creators that are all hosting their own qualifiers on their channels, including some popular English Supercell creators that you are familiar with, including Chief Pat, Orange Juice, Galadon, BBXH, Dangerous Thing, and Full Frontage. Not to mention some of our very own Brawl Stars YouTubers, including Coach Corey, Ark, and Chicken. And then, of course, there are several other content creators that all do content in their own languages, and you can definitely check the link below to see a full list of all of the creators. So here's how this was working out, okay? So each content creator will actually be hosting their own qualifier of up to 128 teams per qualifier. So all the teams that sign up and actually participate in the qualifier will then compete against each other in a single elimination best of five bracketed tournament down until there is one team that has conquered all the other teams and wins that qualifier. That winning team of three people then join the YouTuber and become a four-man team that will then continue to compete throughout the rest of the tournament. On January 6th, Lex and I are going to be broadcasting phase two, where the 32 teams, or up to 32 teams, will compete against each other until it is narrowed down to eight remaining teams. Yes, that's right, Lex and I are gonna be hosting that on our channel, so uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to both my channel and Lex's channel, as well as my Twitch, so you guys uh, don't miss anything. Now guys, the last eight teams will then be flown out to Germany on February 1st, and second, to compete at the Red Bull MEO by ESL World Finals, which will be casted by none other than Lex and myself. What? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I can hardly believe this. I seriously, I seriously, man, when we were invited, oh man, I just can't even. That was like... Clearly, I'm very excited about this, guys. <laughs> okay, now here's the format. Each match is going to be best of five. It's going to be, first of all, gem grab, brawl ball, then high send bounty, and then the fifth match is going to be brawl or gem grab again in case there is a two-to-two -two tie. Now let's actually go ahead and jump into some questions and answer those for you guys, and I know that your first question is, Hey, Kairos, why aren't you guys creating your own team? I think it's obvious. I mean, when given the choice between doing our own teams and casting... The first ever Brawl Stars esports event, like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's once in a lifetime. <laughs> so that is why Lex and I will actually not be hosting our own qualifying teams for this tournament. Next question is, how many qualifiers can I sign up for? You can actually sign up for as many qualifiers as you want, but you can only participate in one team. So make sure you choose your teammates wisely. The next question is, wait, so four players, you got your three main team and then you have the YouTuber that joins them. Four players in a 3v3. How is that going to work out? After the qualifiers, the content creator must play in all matches. That means that one of the three original will actually either just be left out or you guys can rotate between matches or anything like that. Next question is, how old do I have to be to participate? You do have to be 18 years or older to participate or 16 years or older with a guardian's or parent's permission. This is due to regulations of laws and legal and stuff. 
Next question is how are Brawlers selected? Currently we have no information on bans or drafts in the tournament, so as of right now, select any Brawler that you want. Next question, can you participate if you are in a non-beta country? Yes, absolutely you can. If you are currently not in a beta country and you do not have Brawl Stars, make sure you check out my video on how to play Brawl Stars anywhere and that'll get you all started. Next question is, this is a 32 team bracketed tournament, yet there are only 22 content creators to sign up for at the moment? Yeah, so this is interesting. There are only 22 listed, but the rule does say that there will be 32 qualified teams. So we may see some more content creators with teams or something like that. Maybe they just like haven't finished getting all of their schedules sorted or something like that. I don't know all the details, but I'm hoping that we'll see some more content creators. Can we have a sub on our team? No, you cannot. Only three players on a team that is then joined with their content creator YouTuber. Next question is how do I sign up? There is a link in the ESL site in this description of this video. Make sure you go there and sign up for the qualifier or qualifiers that you and your team can make it to. Next thing is what if I cannot travel to Germany? All players must hold valid travel documentation or you cannot participate. If you or your team wins a qualifier but they cannot make this happen, you will lose the right to the qualifier and the next qualified player will take your place. Now, if you have a team and one person cannot come, but the other two can, I'm not sure exactly how they will handle that type of situation. So what I would highly recommend doing is just making sure that you and your teammates can all commit to that February 1st and 2nd date so that you guys don't have any issues in the future. But of course you do have to qualify first. Now, another question that people might be curious in is what if I sign up for multiple qualifiers, but then I like win the first one because I'm just awesome. Now there aren't any official rules on this, but my best guess to this is that you will no longer be able to participate in future qualifiers and that you will have to play with that YouTuber. Whose qualifier you actually won. Now, of course, the last question is what does the winner of this entire tournament get? And on the website, it is very clear. It gives, it tells us fame, glory, and prizes. I have no idea what the prize is actually going to be, but I imagine they're going to be pretty great. I do know one of the prizes and it's a really awesome prize. It's a hug. From me. <laughs> I give really great hugs. It does not get much better than that. <laughs> Seriously though, I imagine that they will have some type of cash prize or something like that. I don't know what the, the ad is going to be. I can't promise that. They haven't said anything about that to me or anything like that. But I can't imagine that they would have this awesome event without giving some type of cash prize or or something awesome at least. Okay, so obviously I am super, super stoked for this event, okay? For, for a lot of different reasons. First of all, first ever Brawl Starts Brawl Stars competitive event. Like that's that's really cool and I'm really stoked about that. Second of all, I get to be a part of it. And I can't tell you like seriously that's like a dream come true of mine. I can't even I I just don't even know what to say. Like it's a huge honor and also I just am really stoked for it. It's going to be fantastic. Both Lex and I really have been talking about this like I've said it in a video in another video like like giddy little schoolgirls like no joke We've been like yapping about this because we're so stoked But I'm also excited that they're doing something really really soon that it's I think this is gonna be a really great way for Brawl Stars to for people to like see Brawl Stars and be like, oh, oh This is cool. This is like legit. There's a lot of esports potential here I don't think that this is like the the most competitive format for a tournament, um, but I don't think that was the intention. I think the intention was to, hey, kind of like test the waters, see how Brawl Stars feels with esports and see what works, what maybe doesn't, how we want to adapt for future tournaments. Um, because obviously, you know, we have YouTubers and content creators in there that, that are not pros in the game. Like, I don't even think any one of them would be considered like a legit top tier pro player like there's some really really good players in there like I know that coach Corey and Ark and Chicken have been playing Brawl for a super long time and they're really really great players I mean and they can compete against some really top players but there are some amazing players that just blow any of the content creators out of the water as far as skill is concerned so I do, so it's not like extremely competitive but it's really exciting to see how the esports scene will actually develop and evolve from this event I think it's going to be interesting to see who makes it to the tournament and it'll be like a toss up between like really great YouTubers. I think that all of the Brawl Stars YouTubers will make it to the end of the tournament just because like you'll have, they'll all have their qualifying team players of qualifier, qualified teams that are amazing at playing the game. And then the Brawl Stars YouTubers are obviously better at the, uh, at the game than the YouTubers that haven't been playing for the past year and a half. But then I'm excited to see, I think that Chief Pat is a shoe in to make it. He's been grinding a ton. I think OJ is actually really 
really, really great at the game for how little he's played. Like when we did the, the live stream event for um, releasing Brawl Stars globally, um, it was like obviously Lex and I were the best players that were there because we'd been playing, you know, we'd been brawling for the entirety of Brawl Stars beta. But then it was like a molten OJ where like, hmm, which one is better? Like, they they were, like, right there, right behind, you know, they were really good players, so I'm excited to see OJ there, and I don't know, who knows? I have no idea who's gonna, who else is gonna be making it to the actual finals, but I'm really excited, and I'm stoked that you guys get to be a part of it. Anyways, guys, I want to know what you think about this tournament, so make sure you drop that in the section below, and of course, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel and making it possible for me to consistently put out great videos for you guys, and of course, for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.